Hello, today I was reviewing this uh, espresso machine and I just got out of the box and the first thing you need to do is clean all the parts that come off. Uh, you have the tank, water tank here, it comes off the back. You have the, the tray, which is in three parts here. Um, we go on the bottom there. You have the bean hopper and lid. You have the uh, strainers, you got the single and the double strainers. You got this that holds the strainer. I don't know what it's called. Um, and then you got the creamer uh, cup where you could frost your cream and stuff. I'm no expert in espresso stuff. I'm not trained at all. So I'm just learning as some of you may be. So all these need to be hand washed. Uh, none of them, we all have a symbol on here. Do not dish wash up. But anyway, I just hand wash all this with some soap and water. Put it back together, fill up your tank. And the next part of the cleaning cycle will be running the steam through the various elements to clean the machine for the first time. Okay, I'm going to get to washing these in the sink and I'll get back to you when I put it all back in the machine. Okay, I have everything cleaned up here. I'm going to put it back together. I'll put one of these cups in. Bean grinder. It's supposed to click in there. There you go. <clears throat> so where you have this lock and unlock kind of line up there, seems to. There you go, locks in right there. It's a lid. And in the back here, the water tank. There you go, and kind of the little switch there. I'm gonna put some water in it. Picture here. That's eight cups, looks like it'll hold a bit more. There's a max, max levels right here. So we've got about a, eight cups, so you're about an inch away from the max. You got the stickers you don't want for it to take off or use it. It didn't actually come off. <laughs> it split in half the sticker. There you go. Alright. There you go. So that's ready to go through the <clears throat> clean cycle here. Okay, now I'm going to go through uh, priming the machine. Press that. Okay, so we're gonna put the basket on here. Okay. 
Okay, and press the rinse. Yeah, this cup. It says uh, last step to open up the steam dial for 10 seconds. Pretty much covers the uh, cleaning it. All right, now I'm gonna do a test brew. Fill this up with some espresso beans. They say to uh, for adjusting the uh, how coarse it is. They say to start your first test brew at three, um, right in the middle there, and uh, you pretty much adjust from one to six. Seems to go further, but one to six is where they have the markings for. Uh, make sure your filter is dry. They say first to run it through here to warm up the. Uh, Piece, hit that, hit that, and press on that drop button, and it will pour some water out through it. Warm up the uh, filter, which I recommend. to dry it out it's gonna be hot so <clears throat> okay so for the first use uh, make sure you don't have it all the way down to the bottom there guess having uh, your filter already filled with the uh, grinds put it uh, just a little bit above to where there's a little cup with the arrow pointing down into it and then you when you put on your filter and um, make sure your settings already set to three for the first time for the how fine it will be and then just push all right to close it'll start grinding right away make sure you have the 2x for the double filter and 1x for, or just not set for the single I have the double in right now and this once you go it's going to start grinding And then yeah, at this point you do the tamper to kind of smash it down. They don't say do it all the way, but to where you start feeling pressure. Um, and then you can check it here. So we're, it's not to the max level yet there. But. Stamp it down again. So now, actually doing two small ones, it completely filled it up right up to the line. 
Um, and then once that's done, you move it over to the coffee side. And close it tight there. Pick what you want there, coffee, Americano, or espresso. And then hit the uh, OK button. You see the gauge here for the pressure, as long as it doesn't go in the red zone there, you're in optimal pressure. So there you have that, right here. It smells like espresso. And you can do the, uh, the cream. Say about that much. And we'll set it in here and move this out of the way. So we'll do for foam. And we side here you turn this dial. I'm no expert at this, but pour your cream or however much you want in there. And there you go. So for the water container, uh, here you can fill it up. It, the whole thing comes off, it slides on on the back. So you don't really have to move your unit much from the wall. You slide it on just like that. Again, you can take it off just the same. So there you go. Okay, so for making an espresso, have it to the espresso. Make sure you have your uh, amount of grinds dialed in. Have uh, the grinder set to three, which is factory default. Um, I'm using the 2X cup in here. First turn it on, let it heat up the water. It'll stop blinking though, okay, once it's uh, ready. You could actually grind while it's doing that. And just turning the thing to the closed position will start the grind. And then uh, tamp it down. Um, right to that uh, 
just the beginning of that third bar. Um, right there. Okay, now the uh, okay is not blinking anymore. You got your uh, grinds here. Tamp down. Now I could uh, hook it up to the coffee uh, or where the uh, espresso will come out. Have your cup. I like to uh, put a tablespoon of sugar in there first at the bottom. And then hit the uh, OK to run your espresso. You'll see the dial here, uh, once it gets going, it'll go up a ways. Meantime, you can get your uh, either whole milk or half and half. I kind of like half and half better. But about a, eh, three quarters of, a, of an inch in there. Now the espresso is done, but I'll leave it in there and let it drip for a little bit while I make the foam froth. So on the side here, you just turn the dial all the way, have it out just for a second, and put it in about a quarter inch or so. Kind of angle it so you can get a try to get a whirlpool going around in there. I just let it go until the uh, little kettle gets full to the top. There you go. Now I'll take this out, give it a little stir. Get this out of the way. And then I'll put half of it in initially. I'll stir it up, kind of get this sweetness up into the froth. And then I pour the rest in. And there you go. So after I do the espressos, I usually get it cleaned off. I just turn on the steamer, paper towel, or rag. And just kind of get that cleaned off. Um, they can just shut off the power and it's done. And uh, cleaning out this gets really tight in there, so I usually get a spoon to kind of start digging it out. And then few taps so you get get pretty clean just rinse it off the rest of the way 